Hey, my friend, thank you for joining us for some spiritual nourishment from Our Daily Bread. Arthur Jackson wrote today's reading, and he titled it, Doing Good for God. Though he didn't normally carry money with him, Patrick sensed God was leading him to tuck a $5 bill in his pocket before leaving home. During the lunch hour at the school where he worked, he understood how God had prepared him to meet an urgent need. In the midst of the lunchroom buzz, he heard these words, Scotty, a child in need, needs $5 to put on his account so he can eat lunch for the rest of the week. Imagine the emotions Patrick experienced as he gave his money to help Scotty. In Titus, Paul reminded believers in Jesus that they weren't saved because of righteous things they had done, but they should be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. Life can be full, extremely busy, and hectic. Attending to our own well-being can be overwhelming. Yet as believers in Jesus, we're to be good works ready. Rather than being overwhelmed by what we don't have and can't do, Let's think about what we do have and can do as God helps us. In doing so, we get to help others at the point of their needs, and God is honored. As Jesus said, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from the New Testament book of Titus, chapter 3, verses 4 through 8. When the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that, having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying, and I want you to stress these things, so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone. Let's pray. Dear Father, would you please forgive us for the times that we've simply ignored the opportunities that you've given us to do good? And would you help us today to be available to others that are in need? And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening today. My name is Wes Ward, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.